to the H-E-B, we live close by here in San Antonio. And then as we're walking by, of course they have plants. I had never seen H-E-B sell plants. But look at that. We have Dram. And that's our favorite, favorite watering tool brand. And you got all types of watering tools here to water with. This is my favorite right here. But isn't that awesome? Plenty to go around the wands, and there's more over here. Yeah, plenty of dram. So this is called turtle vine. Seen that before. All of these we've seen before. We used to go to the other nursery in Virginia, but I gotta say the prices were very high on a lot of these beauties here. Of course, you're going to find a lot of these plants here in, living in San Antonio cheaper than in other states. Look at this. I might have to take somebody with me. Oh, wow. This one's interesting. I know I've seen it before. It's a succulent think I'm not sure guys y'all tell me it doesn't have a name these are very pretty look at that okay. <gasps> more pots I think we need to get huh I think we need to get oh look at that some good sized Texas pots. Um, wow. Okay. Th that, those prices are amazing. For pots, look at the size of pot. Th this huge pot right here, it's going for $44.98 in HEB, guys. Do you know how cheap that is? That, that's, that's cheap. Look at these. That is $39.98. We've paid a whole lot more for plastic yeah. pots. Look at that. The prices are amazing. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm gonna love it here. Oh, that is so cool. Is that a fig? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Fiddly fig. Yeah, these guys can live out here. Okay. Oh. Look at this right here. What are they? Blue point juniper. I guess my blue point jun juniper is supposed to live here. No, those, the we have are those cypress. different? Oh, that is a different kind. This is the juniper we have cypress. Maybe this is somebody I can put in the front. They're very this is four through nine, full sun. And they're twenty four ninety eight. And I am looking for some evergreen for the front, so who knows? But look, I'm eyeing this right here. I've been wanting. Is that San Antonio? Yep. And Virgen de Guadalupe. I need of my Virgen de Guadalupe in the garden. Okay, we're gonna go do what we're supposed to be doing. Yeah. Fine food. <laughs> Just wanted to show you a little bit around here.
Okay, so so we did buy food. We did come to buy food, guys, you know? But we're leaving. It's huge in there. And I today's Sunday is game day. Go Cowboys, guys. So, yeah, everybody is. It's a late game, so it's a late start. Everybody's grabbing their stuff just like we are. Ambrose is going to do some grilling and, you know, we're going to go ahead and watch the game tonight. So it's a very, very busy time. It's packed. So I think I'd rather come to what, during, during the morning, the early, during the week? Being retired has its perks because I don't have to work and I can come during the day when everybody's <laughs> at work. That's very true. So that's when I rather come to. So we're just gonna go ahead and maybe I'll go ahead and do a video of in there in that way. Cause right now it was, it was very, very packed. Okay, so I'm waiting for Ambrose. There he is. So I don't know if we're gonna continue the video. We're headed back home. Like I said, it's game day and we're gonna go ahead and do some grilling. Um, so I don't know if Ambrose wants to show some grilling. We just wanted to go ahead and show you what's going on here because there is a lot of plants in there. I'm saying a lot compared for, you know, it's a grocery store and usually we don't see that. We've never seen yeah, that yeah. much plants in a grocery store before. Okay, we're heading home. Yep. So gas prices, you'll take it? Uh, yeah, two ninety seven a gallon here. How much were we paying in Virginia? Uh, three fifty, I think, was the cheapest when we left. Three forty nine, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. So that's one thing we are noticing. I mean, ga gas prices have always been cheap in Texas. I mean, even yeah. when we lived in California, I think we were paying at the highest was like four twenty five for a gallon. Mm hmm. But yeah, I'll take the gas prices here in Texas. But there, there was a lot of things. There's a lot of life is a little bit more uh, inexpensive here. Inexpensive. Inexpensive here. Yes. So yeah. All right. So we just got back from H E B, and Angie was excited about the garden section that they had there. So I can't wait to see what they have in the growing seasons because it looks like they have plenty of stuff. But this is gonna be the first time we're barbecuing here at the new place and in Texas for that matter. So I had to get the H-E-B charcoal, of course, with the mesquite, because I remember growing up, especially in the South here in San Antonio, mesquite is a staple when it comes to flavoring food or smoking anything when you're cooking. Sometimes just cook with the actual branch of mesquite and it comes out absolutely delicious and smoky. And I went with the H-E-B charcoal lighter fluid. Uh, again, this is all new stuff, so we're trying it out here, and we're gonna throw some ribs and some chicken on the grill. I'm gonna show you exactly uh, the chicken that we're using because it's already seasoned from H-E-B. Pretty exciting because some of that stuff actually tastes delicious. Okay, so I already have my ribs on the grill. My fire's ready to go. Um, before I do anything else, I wanted to show you guys. So I got these at H-E-B. This is Hill Country Fair seasoned chicken leg quarters. This is barbecue flavored already. And typically, you can find a lot of stuff around here in Texas already seasoned like this it's great flavor delicious flavor but the thing i like the most it tells you on here exactly how to cook this now we've been cooking for a long time and we know exactly what we're doing but for those of you who are getting this it tells you here heat your charcoal grill it four inches above a medium low heat cook in a closed grill for 60 to 75 minutes remove when the internal temperature is 165 degrees easy as that simple so show you guys real quick the seasoning on these guys look how delicious that looks smells absolutely delicious. So I'm just gonna grab these leg quarters, stick them here on the grill, and it says 60 to 75 minutes, turning at 20 minutes. Yes, it even tells you when to turn it. I'm gonna put these on the grill, come back in 20 minutes, turn them, and see how they're doing. Okay, so
So while I have the ribs and chicken cooking, I am going to make a tomato cucumber salad. Angie loves onions, this takes red onions. I love cucumbers and we both love tomatoes. So perfect combination and I'm gonna make a vinaigrette that goes with it as well so you guys can follow along. All these products we actually got from H-E-B. Speaking of that, somebody told us that we need to stay out of H-E-B, specifically Angie, but it's really not Angie, it's me. I've been going there, I, Angie's sitting over here and she's laughing at me. I've been going there like almost every other day because just a variety of products that we can get here, things that we miss from Texas, things that we love to cook with. To begin with this real quick, I wanted to show you the cucumber tomato salad. And what's cool is this is from H-E-B. It's already sliced cucumber, so it makes it, it makes it easier for me. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna need is one pint of cherry tomatoes. And again, this is a variety that I got. And Excuse me. Yeah, and he's gonna steal a tomato. So I'm gonna cut all these in half. That is the first ingredient there. Okay, so I got my tomatoes cut in half. The next thing it calls for is one whole cucumber. This is obviously more than one whole cucumber, so we're gonna kind of estimate. We'll do that as a quarter cucumber. We'll do this as a, another quarter cucumber, another quarter cucumber. And yes, I'm, I'm estimating these cucumbers as huge Texas sized cucumbers. So it's a little bit more cucumber than what it's actually called for because again, I love cucumber and it tastes delicious. And this made it easy coming from H-E-B, like I said. All right, the next thing is gonna be a half of red onion, which I already pre-cut here. And you want spirals or half spirals, it really doesn't matter, but you want them cut like this and just break them up, toss it in there. All right, and then the last thing added to there is one tablespoon of fresh parsley. I'm actually gonna do a little bit more than one tablespoon of parsley, I already cut it. And I'm just gonna mix this up real quick. So yes, my hands are washed. I don't use gloves. I know there's a lot of comments on cooking channels about using gloves when you make food and stuff like that, but this is for the family. I'm not serving this to anybody else other than us here. So I don't tend to use any gloves at all. All right, so now for the vinaigrette to complete this cucumber tomato salad, I'm gonna get some uh, extra virgin olive oil. I got this one from H-E-B, it's from Chile. It's a medium flavor, so we're gonna do a third cup of olive oil. And it's gonna be quite a bit here. All right, next thing I'm gonna add here is a quarter cup of red wine vinegar. Also pick this one up there and this is gonna be a quarter cup. Now, as I'm looking around, I can see that I'm gonna need a new place to set up, to cook out here. Um, because, garden? what's that? A kitchen, a garden. And Angie's saying kitchen? kitchen garden. Definitely looks like a kitchen garden and a place to set up shop so I can make my ingredients. We have a lovely space inside. Um, was gonna do it in there, but it's not quite clean. Cause again, we're just still packing up and stuff and we're gonna get all that going in there and maybe do some videos in there. But for now I'm setting up outside cause I wanna show you guys this recipe real quick while I'm cooking on the grill. All right, and the next thing we're gonna add is two cloves of garlic. So I got my two cloves of garlic here. Now these are Texas sized garlics. Um, I was telling Angie right now, these things are huge. So it's a little bit more than two cloves, um, but no worries, I'm not too worried about that. And then I have a teaspoon of dried oregano here that I'm gonna put in there as well. All right, and then next, I got some uh, H-E-B Dijon mustard. We're gonna use a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. Actually, I take that back. I remembered it's half a teaspoon. So we're gonna do half a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. I'm gonna mix that up real quick. Still got a few more things to add. All right, next thing to add is a teaspoon of kosher salt. Adding that, and then a half teaspoon of freshly crushed black pepper, and I did grind this out so it's freshly cracked. And then this we're gonna mix up. All right, and now that our vinaigrette is mixed up, I've got a mess up here, but I'm gonna grab my bowl here with all the cucumber, tomato, and red onions. And I'm just gonna pour the vinaigrette over it. Just like that. Already smells mm, delicious. I'm just gonna get my whisk in there and just move it around a bit. Get it nice and coated. And we're gonna set this aside for about 30 minutes and let it absorb all the flavors and then we'll come back and try it. I gotta go check on the ribs and chicken there. It 
So I'm checking on the grill here because the chicken is just about to be done. The ribs are just about to be done. Angie over there stole the leftover cucumbers. Um, we're gonna try that in a little bit and have a delicious meal because the Cowboys are about to start. I know this is well after the Cowboys game, but um, this is what we're doing to enjoy it. It's a late game, but I want to show you guys again, this is the chicken. The seasoned barbecue chicken from H-E-B looks absolutely delicious. It's just about done, ready to come off the grill. I wish you could smell it. Oh yeah. Um, but yeah, we just wanted to do this video real quick. I know Angie had her fun at H-E-B. Um, you know, it was it, it's a blast uh, being here in Texas now and having the freedom to do these kind of videos around here because as you guys know, we lived in an area that was more condensed. So yeah, very small. Uh, being able to just set up the camera like this right here and be out here and enjoy it absolutely beautiful um, we love doing this all the time i yeah. hope you can hear angie because she doesn't have a mic she's talking here and mine's right here so yeah we just got back and i was just ready to walk around the backyard and let him take over the kitchen he's literally calling it his kitchen so yeah i was telling him right now we're definitely going to have to find a place to make a little kitchen out here not just a kitchen garden to grow plants and but actually you know, not just the edibles outdoors, yeah. just grow the it, edibles, it, but it, an actual kitchen it, to cook out here. It's going to be fun because uh, from my understanding right now, like we haven't gone out there, but you can get some fall uh, planted tomatoes and other vegetables that I do want to do because having small tomatoes is going to be awesome. And just having vegetables. That Ambrose loves to cook a lot. I yeah. cook too. I love cooking. Oh, we and both love to. Kids love to cook, you know. our old One of our oldest loves to cook, but Ambrose loves to cook. One of the main things I think like growing up in our family was taking it outdoors, actually cooking outside. Yeah. You have all your edibles, everything that you, you know, that you need, your veggies or herbs or whatever, mm -hmm. and just cook, grilled, just cook whatever. Even I remember my dad used to even bake cakes outside. Yeah. So, you know. So it's going it's to be awesome. It's going to be amazing to yeah. be able to spend this much time outdoors. And uh, I know somebody mentioned, like, about the dogs having room. The dogs are having a I'll, I'll insert a video here because they're having a blast out here. Um, they're absolutely enjoying it. As you can see, I have another, like Angie said, I love to cook. I have my flat grill over there that I bought, what, three years ago? Yeah. I haven't been able to use it because there's no room in Virginia. Yeah. But we're going to be able to use that here and have a whole bunch of fun cooking as well. Not just gardening, but, you know, just bring that home and garden feeling to us because that's something that we absolutely love. Definitely. But uh, we're going to go ahead and close it out here, guys. And I'll show you photos of what the, fu the, the food looks like when it's done because that cucumber tomato salad looks delicious, doesn't it? Oh, yes. I can't wait. I'm already picking at it. <laughs> so... It's really good. All right, guys. So hope you enjoyed this quick video of us just chatting, having a blast at HEB today. And you got anything else? I uh, hope you all enjoyed the garden center part of HEB. Oh, my goodness, guys. I It was hard to get away from there. There was more to show, but it, there, it was a packed day. So I didn't get to show it all. We'll show more later on. Yep. So that's going to do it for the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Take me as I Take me as I am Cause I'm listening